True satisfaction is not in one's accomplishments, nor in filling an emptiness. The true satisfaction of one's life is in Jesus himself. Today we celebrate the feast of the apostles, St. Philip and St. James. The scripture today takes us to the resounding words of Philip. Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. These words of Philip express the universal desire and longing of humanity to stand in the presence and in the holiness of God and to see Him and be satisfied. Our desire for the ultimate is something innate and inevitable. It is manifested by our restlessness, by our sense of emptiness and by our search for meaning and significance. Saint Augustine would say, our hearts are restless till they rest in God. There are times, my dear friends, when we feel that we are totally satisfied by our accomplishments, our positions and what we do for ourselves. We feel that our life is complete when there is nothing more to be done. Jesus, however, in his answer to Philip, reminds us that true satisfaction is not in one's accomplishments, nor in filling an emptiness. The true satisfaction of one's life is in Jesus himself. It is only in seeing Jesus we are renewed and made whole. Our life is made complete and we are perfected in the image and likeness of God. From that moment of seeing, we are satisfied and we know what we need for ourselves. There would be nothing lacking in our lives. Jesus also makes it clear that seeing Him is seeing the Father and that He and the Father are one. Jesus, my dear friends, is the portrait, the revealer of the Father. He is the surest way to the Father, for He not only points the way to reach God, but He also personally shows the way. He is the truth, because He cannot deceive us, nor can be deceived, and He has revealed us His Father in and through Himself. He is the life that gives us life. He is the most profound satisfaction of our lives. To see the Father in and through Jesus is the fullness of life and is an expression of deep faith in God. 